LaVita began in 1970 not to provide extreme challenges, but to create a space where personal and spiritual growth could be fostered. Over the last 42 years, thousands of students have deepened their relationship with God and discovered their leadership abilities. While on La Vida, students travel through the Adirondack Mountains on 8-12 to 12 day wilderness expeditions that provide time to study and apply God's Word. The goal is to develop the character, commitment, and perseverance needed to overcome life's challenges when they go back home. I've wanted to go camping and hiking since I was a kid, but uh, my family isn't really the outdoorsy kind of uh, family, so this is a great opportunity for me to get out there and experience that for the first time. Um, I've actually never been hiking or camping before, so just experiencing that for the first time. We're here to make this experience as enjoyable as possible, and we have your best interest in mind. Being around creation so much automatically makes me feel closer to God. Being around these people who love God so much, I feel like I'm seeing how beautiful God made creation, shows me how much He loves us. He wanted us to have an awesome time here in the world, and I think that's a, an interesting fact about God that you can get just from looking around. The best part so far is kind of the views we've seen. Um, like we're up on top of a mountain right now, it's an incredible view. Even on the, the lakes and the rivers we've been on, um, uh, we were on the Rocket River, we saw they're having um, almost a drought, and you could see all the roots from the trees along the bank. That was really cool. We saw a couple bald eagles. I mean, the wildlife here is incredible. There's not, I've never seen anything like it. On La Vida, you don't really have a choice. You know, you don't have those distractions of, of your phone or your iPod, or you can't like think, ah, I'm bored, like I'll just get on Facebook. Um, you kind of have to be in the moment. And what's come of that for me is just a great appreciation of being uh, in the moment um, and, and engaging my present circumstances, even if they're hard present circumstances, um, because ultimately you learn from them. Um, and ultimately you grow from them and it's better. This group is exceptionally good at encouragement. I, I, I love it. I think it's something that we all got to learn how to do at, at one point. And I think we're definitely ahead of the game in that, that area. I really like our dinners and our, um, our life story times where we all kind of each share about our lives. It's, it's really neat getting to know everybody. I mean, they were strangers at the beginning of the trip. Now we're kind of like a little family. So that would have to be my favorite. Things you completely take for granted everywhere else. Things like bed or a room or walls or a roof. Here you have to make your roof. You have to make your bed. So every bit of food you eat, instead of being something that you can just be like, eh, it's food. Here it's food, it's joy, it's life. It's, it's something different, it's something better, it's something more pure and simple. The more and more days we spend on this trip, the more and more you realize how much we don't realize we have, how little joy we take in some of the things that we really should be thinking, wow, I have this every day and I don't even think about it. Every bit of food you eat is a joy, every bit of community you have, the people you talk to, because now you really do enjoy it. Sometimes you just live, but there's no experiencing, like you don't really think about it, you don't really feel it. Here, you really get to experience, it's great stuff. The idea of a commitment move comes from rock climbing. It's a way of committing yourself to trying your best at the hardest part of a climb, whether you're successful or not. If you give it your best shot and it works, you're able to move up the rock and closer to completing the climb. If you try your best and it doesn't work, you're forced to trust the rope as well as your belayer. At that point, you must decide to either make another commitment move or ask your belayer to lower you to the ground. Levita doesn't focus so much on outdoor skills, but rather on personal and spiritual growth. Levita's goal is to teach young people to make commitment moves, not only in activities like rock climbing, but more importantly, in their faith, their relationships, and in life. 
You need to come on La Vida. Let go of everything that you think that is important and go out into the wilderness and redefine all of that and see see where you really are and see really what's important. You can do it. It's so it's the best and this experience will form and change your life and you will never ever forget the lessons that you've learned on La Vida. You'll remember it all and if you come into it open to learning and developing in a community and loving one another and challenging yourself, you can take it for the rest of your life.